Staying in the hospital is expensive, but it's exactly where people with COVID-19 can end up. Since last April, a lot of insurance companies and employers agreed in good faith to pay your out-of-pocket expenses for COVID treatments, but that's about to change. Depending on what insurance you have, what you have to pay if you get sick can vary a great deal. Carriers like Blue Cross Blue Shield and Health Partners full COVID coverage stops March 31st. Preferred one and Medica is June 30th. After that, the CEO of a local advocacy group says you're on the hook again for certain expenses. I don't want people to think like, oh my gosh, I'm going to end up with a million dollar bill for COVID treatment. You shouldn't. But you're going to have to pay your out of pocket, your deductible, your co insurance, your copay. The Affordable Care Act caps that amount at about $17,000. But to be prepared, Hess says see if you qualify for a health savings account. Maximize that out if you can. And again, you can put even more money in towards this year also to save dollars and more of that tax bill. Apply for financial assistance at your hospital or set up payment plans that should be interest free if you get a bill. Hess hopes employers and carriers extend this coverage if there's another surge in positive cases. We we could end up in a situation where we start seeing an uptick in you know, hospitalizations right at the time when people's coverage is ramping down. Remember, testing and the vaccine are still free, paid in part by the federal government. Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News. We've put links to all of Minnesota's major carriers on our website, and you can find more information there about how to contact them, member portals, and their COVID treatment coverage to help you avoid sticker shock. Quick reminder about the QR code in the bottom right corner of your screen. By scanning it with your smartphone's camera, it will take you to our VaxFacts page for the latest information on vaccines.